So tonight we are here at Disney's Vero Beach and we are dining at their restaurant Wind and Waves. We are sitting at the only booth in the restaurant. <laughs> so Josh and I have ordered a lot of food tonight. I got the calamari for my appetizer. It comes with a charred tomato coulis, watercress, and grilled lemon. I can definitely smell some like pepper in there. Mm. It's very good. It's a nice and crispy calamari, but it's nice and tender on the inside. Great seasoning in the breading. Ooh. And that sauce underneath, I actually almost just thought I wanted some more of it, but I did just get a kick of heat at the end. Her calamari is fantastic. It's very good. Yeah, I'm like super hungry. This is uh, supposed to be a really good restaurant. Wow, there is a little bit of like pepper heat in that spicy. breading sitting in the back of the throat so anyways i have got the fish and chips this is a half order which is like a regular order i guess at any other restaurant two pieces of fish it doesn't say what type of fish it is it just says that it is a beer battered fish and then you get fries and then it also comes with a side of tartar sauce it is super hot fish and chips here we go very good the fish and the chips and the soups, well, and the appetizers in general, I think this is like a good place where if you're staying here and you don't really want to have a full meal, you can basically get the appetizer and the soup and be good for your meal, which is kind of nice, I think. It's uh, not too bad of a price, I don't think, but pretty good. The fish has a nice uh, light batter on it. It's not super dense and heavy, and uh, the fish is good. All right, so I have got the conch chowder soup. This is basically your traditional chowder. All the same types of vegetables. The only thing different here is that it has a uh, conch, sorry, not conch, uh, conch meat instead of like, you know, clams or whatever else you might get. It's also served with a sweet cornbread crouton, which adds, I think, a little bit of a different flavor and a little bit more texture to the dish. It's a little disappointing. Not a lot of like flavor in there really at all. There's sweetness in there from the corn, I think, and sweetness in there from the cornbread croutons. But other than that, there's not a whole lot of like rich flavor that I feel like I would get from a traditional chowder. Uh, could probably use some salt and actually probably use some pepper, which is really surprising because I don't normally add those to my, any of my dishes at any Disney restaurant. Here at the Window Waves Grill, they do a bread service. Uh, but I've got to say that the service itself has been lacking slightly. Um, she basically dropped off a butter and didn't explain anything about it. Looks like we have some maybe Himalayan pink sea salt and charcoal. I don't know what the heck this black stuff is. Oh, nice. So I'd have to say that butter spreadability here is at least a four. Not necessarily a five, but it's definitely a four. Spreads extremely easy. Really like the nice saltiness that's in there. I have no idea what the black stuff is. I'm not getting like any type of flavor profile there from that, but um, I think the rolls could be a little bit better though. So for my soup, I got the French onion. It's your classic beef broth base. It has a baguette for the bread, and then it has Gruyere cheese. The broth is really good. And I really like that cheese in there. And I do like the baguette. However, I do wish there was more bread because the baguette is very small compared to the crock. I think they could have fit like two in here. Just because I really like the baguette in the broth. It's really good. I typically don't like cornbread, so I'm going to skip the cornbread and just go for the regular roll. The butter is really good. I really enjoy that it is room temperature and I like the salt on top. It's very salty. And the rolls aren't too bad. I do kind of wish that they were warm. But overall, good bread. So, they did have steak on the menu. They had a butcher's cut, which was market price. You could get New York strip or filet. However, I decided to go with the pot roast. My pot roast comes with truffle mashed potatoes, honey glazed carrots, green beans, and then a Cabernet gravy. It just pulled apart. Really good. It's cooked perfectly, so tender. 
I said it pulls apart, it literally does. It just falls right apart. Those mashed potatoes, I was afraid there might be a little bit of like overpowering truffle flavor in there, but there's not at all. It's just perfect. And then the Cabernet gravy that's on the top just brings the whole dish together. And these potatoes are like pureed, so they're very smooth. Very good pot roast dinner. All right, so I have got the Key West shrimp boil. This is a smaller portion than what I expected to get, but these Key West shrimp are enormous. Look at these things. They're like, they're like the size of my face. It looks really good. They come with fingerling potatoes, corn on the cob, and andouille sausage. So it is your basically your typical uh, boil, seafood boil. Oh man. Cooked wonderfully. The shrimp is in no way overdone at all. They are cooked absolutely to perfection. They're actually cooked so well that they almost like just melt in my mouth, which is crazy. Oh my God. It's like a garlic butter uh, base. And then they sprinkle some like base seasoning around the edges. I'm not getting a lot of old base seasoning per se in the shrimp, but it is still absolutely wonderful. Sausage. And doing sausage is good. It has a little bit more of like a spicier hint to it, which is nice. And the potatoes are cooked really well. Corn on the cob. It was good. Overall though, I think this entree is great. Lots of good flavor here. Just think that it would be a little bit of a bigger portion. So we just finished eating inside of Wind and Waves Grill here at the resort. And it was actually pretty nice. It was good. It was good. I'm I was stuffed. I am too. I'm still like a little shocked at how small the restaurant is and how there's like not a ton of people in there and it's not bustling and hustling all around because I think... That's just at, what we're used to. Yeah, all the time. So, um, But it was nice because it was a little bit more uh, like boutique-ish and mm -hmm. a little bit more intimate and slightly more romantic, especially like where the table was at that we were sat at, which was yeah. really nice. So. And because we're like sort of celebrating our 10 years together... They made us this little cord. It's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> it was very nice. So um, the total price for us, now we each got a soup, we each got an appetizer, and we got an entree. We skipped dessert. There wasn't really anything on there that we really were interested in. $100 total, and then we also had a DVC discount, which was nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was 10% discount. It was. So overall, it was pretty good. It was good. So I'm interested to see the response in this, but... Have you ever been here to Wind and Waves Grill at Disney's Vera Beach?